what I'm going to do now is use the design pop-ups dash begin file and I'm going to create a pop-up menu for the destinations area within the navigation. So this destinations piece is going to list five destinations that Free Spirit Travel goes to. I'm not going to list all of them because that would just take too long for this lesson. So just assume that what we do within this basic piece, you can always go back and add more to it. So how do I create a pop-up menu within this area? Well, the first thing you need to have in order to create a pop-up menu is a slice. And if I click on destinations, you can see I have a blue border. That is my slice for this area of the nav bar. Now that I have a slice, which I already had set within this area, we get this little round circular icon in the middle when we select that slice. And what I'm going to do is click that middle item and say add pop-up menu. So this is how I get to the entire interface for creating a pop-up menu. So I'll click on that and what I do is basically walk through each one of these tabs. I can do it by clicking the tabs themselves or I can do it clicking the wizard buttons down towards the bottom. So let's walk through this. I'm going to put my cursor in the text area. Now the text is what your user is going to see when they hover over this particular slice, this blue square. This is going to be the text or one piece of the text that they see. At the same time I create that text, what I'm going to do is add the hyperlink to the web page. Now this target area I'm going to ignore. The reason I'm going to ignore this target area is because all of the links I'm going to put within this link area are within my website. What the target area does, if I click on it, you can see there's a little drop down. It allows that hyperlink to open in a new browser window or a new tab. I don't need that because this is within my website. So I'll just ignore that, but just so you know what that's all about. So I will create a second one. This one's going to be austria.htm. And I basically just keep hitting the tab button. And the next one's going to be Fiji, F-I-J-I. Now notice my web page names are lowercase. Before you create a pop-up menu, you do want to think about what the web page is that the user is going to go to when you click that particular piece of text. So I've already planned that out. The next one I'm going to do is French Polynesia. And this will just be called Polynesia.htm. I'll hit the tab key twice. And the last one I'm going to do is Hungary. So there is the information that's going to show up to the user when they hover over destinations. And this is the web page they will be taken to when they click that item in the pop-up menu. I'll go down to the next button. What I need to do now is determine what I want it to look like. So what I'm going to do is change the font to Arial. Now notice I don't really have an Arial in here. I just have Verdana. So what I will do is create it using this one. And once it's created, I can always delete this Verdana in front of it. So I'll choose Verdana as my font. The other option I have is to do it ahead of time, I can just click in front of Arial and Backspace. That makes it nice and easy. My size, I will keep at 14. This is bold or italic. That does make it a little more difficult to read, especially the italic. This is your center left align or right align feature. Now in the up state, I'm going to set my text to white. So I will click this square and choose the white square. My cell color 
is not going to be all C's. I've already figured out what color I want to match and coordinate with the rest of my website. And this is going to be 5B88AF. So that's the color I've chosen. I'll hit enter and that is the blue. Now that I made it blue here, you can see it shows it blue down in this area. Now the next thing is when I hover over it, what color do I want? You can see right now it's this navy blue. So I'm going to keep the white text in the overstate and down in this area, what I'm going to do is make it match this tan background color. And that color is A28C5C. Now notice you can put in either RGB colors or hex colors, whichever you prefer. I'll hit enter and here is my menu. So I can get an example of what that menu is going to look like. So I've chosen my colors. I will click the next button. I'm going to leave everything default within this area. I will click next. And this is an area that I don't tend to change. So I'm going to keep the position at X and Y zero zero. I will click the done button. And as soon as I do that, notice I have these little extra blue squares on my page. Now that I can see that blue box, if I put my cursor towards the edge of it and it turns to a hand, I can move this around wherever I want. So I'm going to put this directly in line with the left hand side of destinations within the nav bar. And you can see the little pink smart guide shows me that I'm lined up with the word destinations. I also want to move this down just a little bit. I don't want it butting right up against this area because I do plan to add that drop shadow into my final design. So I'll move it down just a little bit. You can always modify it once it becomes the HTML and CSS from Fireworks. Now that I have this pop-up menu created for this destinations area, what I'm going to do is save this file and I'm going to save it as design pop-ups. So I'll go ahead and do a save as and save this as design pop-ups. So that is how you create a pop-up menu in Fireworks. Should you need to modify that pop-up menu, you can select the slice, click on this area and notice it says edit pop-up menu and that will pop up that menu editor once again in case you need to make any changes. So that is how you create a pop-up menu within Fireworks.